Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to make a Christmas card with the help of my Big Shot. I'm going to start off with my basic platform on tab one, and I'm going to take my card base, which is Knight of Navy, cut eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at the four and a quarter mark. And I want to emboss the front of this card using the Lucky Stars embossing folder. So I'm going to insert my cardstock inside. I'm going to put the top cutting pad on, and then I'm going to run it through the Big Shot. Bring it a bit closer to me. And there we go. I hope you can see it. The lighting in here is not very great today. It's very dark outside. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my magnetic platform next and the same sandwich and I'm going to use a piece of Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper and I have taken a small star from the Stars Frameless dies and I'm going to die cut that out using my glimmer paper. Now I know I want to use three stars on the front of my card, so before the video began, I die cut two others, so you don't have to sit and watch me die cut three, you can see me die cut just one of them. And then the last thing I want to do is bring in a piece of Scrap Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to use a phrase from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. This stamp set is one of the most versatile that you could possibly have. It has so many occasions in it. I'm actually featuring this stamp set in my December Creative Express catalog tour. I'm going to show you 12 months of cards that you can create using this one phrase stamp set. But for this video, I'm going to use the Merry Christmas and I'm going to stamp and die cut out this phrase from a scrap piece of cardstock. I'm going to use Knight of Navy because I want everything to coordinate on the front of my card. So I'm going to stamp the Merry Christmas. And then I am going to use another framelit, actually a thinlet, this time from the gift card envelope and trims thinlet dies. There's this fabulous thinlet that's a banner. Now I know that I don't want to die cut out the entire length of this banner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on being the length that I want it to be. In other words, I don't want it all this length, so I'll just slide it so that it's the length that I want it to be. I want to get it nice and straight too. my top standard cutting pad on, hold it in place so it doesn't slip, and there we go. I have my phrase in a length that I want it to be. All right, so now it's time to put the card together. I've got my card base that's embossed with the lucky stars. I've got my three stars and I'm going to put them diagonally up the front of my card, like so. Now, I'll find my snail adhesive, which is right here in front of me. And I will attach my stars. I could bump them up by using a Stampin' Dimensional, but I know I'm going to mail this card to somebody special and so I don't want it to have to cost extra postage. And 
There's my third star. And then I will bring in my phrase. And I die cut it a little bit too long, so I'll show you what you can do with that. That'll be very quick and easy to fix. The first thing I'll do is adhere it onto the card. See, I think I'll put it right here. And then I'll just turn the card over. I'll take my paper snips and I'll just trim it off. Like so. And there we go. I've got a very quick and easy Christmas card. Thanks to my Big Shot and my Stars Framelits. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for the uh, Dazzling Diamonds, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I have a free set of newsletters that come out each month, and you can choose which ones you want. You can use the Shop Now button on my blog to hop on over to my online store and place an order for these products. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.